Well, <laughs> hi there, sixth grade students. I was about to blow this horn, sorry. Because I like to celebrate. Woo! Hello, everybody. Welcome. Hello, students from Cartago, Alajuela, Heredia, Limón, Punta Arenas, Guanacaste, and San Jose. Welcome. My name is Gravin Sanchez, and I'm going to be your English teacher. What is your name? Tell me. Oh, nice to meet you. Ariel, Daniel, Brianna, Zoe, Maria, Melissa. Oh, interesting. Nice to meet you. Welcome to Learning at Home. Bienvenidos a Aprendo en Casa. Today is a very special day because this is our very first show. Ah, good. Going to school is so cool, but learning at home is much more fun, don't you think? Yeah? Good. We have a big school, we have classmates at home, and we have a teacher. We are going to watch some videos and listen to songs. We are going to dance. Those videos are taken from YouTube, but we are going to use them to learn English uh, and only with educational purposes. Vamos a escuchar canciones, a ver videos y los vamos a utilizar de YouTube únicamente con el fin de aprender inglés y obviamente con fines y propósitos educativos simplemente, ¿ok? Now, ¿ok? We're going to continue and we have a new friend, we have a new friend. Ok, what's your name? My name is Charlotte. Oh, nice to meet you, Charlotte. Charlotte, how old are you? I am 12. Oh, you're 12. And how are you? I'm very happy to be here. Are you happy at home? Yeah? That's the attitude. And where are you from? I am from Costa Rica. Oh, you're from Costa Rica. But we have people from Nicaragua, from Panama from all over the world here living in Costa Rica. I want to say something. You want to say something to our classmates? Yes, I want to invite your families. Oh, you want to invite your father, your mothers, and also your brothers and sisters? Yes, please come here and join us. Come here and join us. Now, maybe you're wondering why I'm wearing a Christmas hat, a, a potty horn, and a potty hat. Oh, Charlotte, do you know what we are going to learn today? Yeah? Oh, I think about celebrations. Yes, we are going to learn about celebrations in English-speaking countries. Do you know any English-speaking countries? Tell me some of them, please. Okay, yeah, very good. What about Mexico, Can España, Honduras, Nicaragua, Panama, Brazil? Okay, Charlotte, those are countries, but I'm sorry, they're not English-speaking countries. Do you want to explore, learn, and have lots of fun? Yes, so this is the right place to be. So, Charlotte, let's look a video about English-speaking countries. We have many countries all around the world and more than a hundred, más de cien países, more than a hundred around the world speak English. That's an interesting fact. So let's watch this video about English-speaking countries. Okay, Charlotte, are you ready? Yes, I am. Let's take a look. And you at home have to pay attention, okay? Let's watch the video. Oh. 
Okay, Charlotte, the first country that we are going to, to visit is Australia. Okay, Australia. And in Australia, we have the Sydney Opera House. Esta es una casa de la ópera en Sydney, and it is very famous. Yeah, some people like Pavarotti used to sing there and used to give big presentations with too many crowds. Okay, let's see. Let's visit Australia. And we have a short video about Australia. Let's take a look. You see, Charlotte, that is an island in Australia. Wow, that's interesting. Oh, yes. And look at the flag. It has five white stars. You see, the flag is blue. <gasps> That's very interesting, right, Charlotte? Yes. Now, Charlotte, we have the second English-speaking country. Let's take a look. Let's see. This country is really big, and it has many monuments, Charlotte. What kind of monuments? Oh, historical monuments. Okay, let's take a look. Pay attention to this. <gasps> that is the United States of America. Yes, that is correct. And we have an eagle there. That's the White House. The president lives there. And that is the capital. It's similar to la Asamblea Legislativa. And that is the Alamo in San Antonio. <gasps> Did you like it? Yes, I like it. I want to learn more English-speaking countries. Do you want to learn more English-speaking countries? Okay, let's go. You want to come? Yeah? Okay. <gasps> Which one is that? That is South Africa. <gasps> and look at those colors. Yes, it has many colors. We have, for instance, Red, green, blue, yellow, and black, and also white. That is correct. Oh, did you like South Africa? Yes. Do they have animals there? Yes, they have giraffes. They have elephants. They have lions. Ah, ooh, that's very scary, Charlotte. I want to know another English-speaking country. Okay, let's give it a try. Let's use another English. <gasps> Look at that one, Charlotte. That's the United Kingdom. And they have a queen. The United Kingdom is formed uh, with four countries. Great Britain, England, Wales, Scotland, and perhaps Ireland too, okay? <gasps> That's very interesting. Do they have a queen? Yes, Charlotte. They have a queen. That's Queen Elizabeth. I'm going to put you right here, Charlotte. Queen Elizabeth, the queen, okay? That's the queen of England, the queen of Great Britain. <gasps> Whoa, in the United Kingdom, they have a queen. Do we have a queen in Costa Rica? Well, my mother is a queen, my wife is a queen. Most women here in Costa Rica are queens. Very good. Amazing. Another country, please. Okay, let's see another country. <gasps> Whoa, I love that one. That one is Canada. Yes, very good, Charlotte. You're learning too fast. That one is Canada. Very good. <gasps> is it cold there? Yes, it's very cold there. <laughs> but I know you are going to like the next country, the next one. I think you're going to like it, Charlotte. <gasps> Which one is that? Wow, is that an island too? Yes, that is an island. And people in Jamaica, Charlotte, speak English. Whoa, very good. <gasps> The flag has green, yellow. Oh. Do they have a forest? Yes, they have a forest and many animals too. <gasps> Whoa! Interesting places. Okay, Charlotte, did you see? We learned many English speaking countries today. We had Australia, we got Canada.
Canada, the United States, the United Kingdom, what else? South Africa and Jamaica. Nice, South Africa and Jamaica. Charlotte, do you want to know what we are going to learn today? Okay, let's look at uh, the, the lesson goal, what we are going to learn. Today, Charlotte, we are going to identify main points and general information, okay? So, would you like to travel? Yes, I like to travel. Okay, but you have to ask your parents for permission. Do you want to go to a tour all over the world? Yeah. Do you want to know about holidays and celebrations in English-speaking countries? Yes, I want to know about that. Do you want to know about holidays and celebrations in English-speaking countries? Yes. Okay, so let's give it a try. Let's give it a try. Let's give it a try, okay? We are going for a tour all over the world, Charlotte. But first, we need to pack our luggage. We need to pack our luggage. And it's time to celebrate. So let's go. But we better hurry, Charlotte, because there is no time and we're going to be late. Let's go. Do you want to come with us? Yeah? So grab your luggage and let's go let's go hurry because we 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 are going to juan santa maria airport wow where 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 are we okay where where are we okay charlotte we have arrived and this is the first country we are going to australia and remember your bag your clothes and your passport and your face mask, okay? Remember also to wash your hands. Where are we? Oh, Charlotte, we are in Australia. And that is the Sydney Opera House in Australia. Famous singers like Pavarotti sing there. <gasps> Do they sing opera there? Yes, with beautiful voices there. <gasps> I want to hear some opera there. Okay, let's let's listen to Pavarotti, one of the greatest opera singers in the world. And he's going to, to sing a song called Nesson Dorma. <gasps> wow, let's listen to that. Okay, let's listen to that. Charlie, Charlotte, sorry. Wow, what a beautiful song. <gasps> Amazing! Wow, that was beautiful! Wow, I like to sing opera! Well, Charlotte, now, in Australia, Charlotte, people celebrate Boxing Day, but not Boxing Day uh, where, where you fight, no. Boxing Day in Australia, it's similar to Christmas. <gasps> really? So, do they have two Christmas days? Yes, it's similar like they are having two Christmas Day. And where is it celebrated? Well, it is celebrated on December the 26th. And what do they do? Well, people thank for their blessings, remember less fortunate people. They get food, they get money, and clothing and presents to poor families in a box. That is why it is called Boxing Day. Okay? <gasps> We'd better hurry, Charlotte, because we're getting late. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Woof, wow, that was, that was amazing. Let's go to another country now. Where are we heading? I don't know, but I'm having the, a great time. Are you having a great time? <gasps> Where are we? <gasps> Look, Charlotte, pay attention, Charlotte. It's all to celebrate America's hometown <gasps> Thanksgiving wow, parade. Wow, that is a big turkey. Yes, it's a big turkey. I know. Dr. Paul Jaley, a.k.a. United Paul States the Pilgrim, is a history professor yes, who knows Charlotte, a thing or two about the early right. settlers we and are in the United of States of America, so the and they this. are celebrating Thanksgiving. And what is Thanksgiving? Well, Charlotte, Thanksgiving is celebrated every fourth Thursday of November. 
Then what do they do on Thanksgiving? Well, Charlotte, people have a family dinner. They thank for blessings. They eat turkey. Poor turkeys! Yes, I know. They eat potatoes, pumpkin pie, and cranberries. Do they eat apples? No, Charlotte. Fortunately, they don't eat apples. Okay, now where, where are we going? Let's go to the airport because we're getting late. Whew. <laughs> wow, that was fast. Do you want to travel to a, another country? Yeah, please, let's go. Okay, but calm down, Charlotte. Relax. Let's go to another country. English speaking country. What's next? What's next? Okay, let's see. Remember to grab your, your bag, your passport. Let's go to this other country. Okay, let's go, let's go, let's go. <gasps> well, we have visited Australia and we have visited the United States. Yes, we have gone to Australia, we have gone to the United States of America. <gasps> In, Char in Charlotte, I have a question for you. What do people in Australia celebrate? They celebrate Boxing Day. <gasps> now, where are we? Well, we are in South Africa. <gasps> and who is that man? Well, that man you're calling is a very famous person. His name is Nelson Mandela. <gasps> Nelson Mandarina? No, Charlotte. No, 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 no. <laughs> we have to respect people. Remember, we, we, we don't use nicknames. No, his name is Nelson Mandela. And who is Nelson Mandela? Okay, Nelson Mandela was the first elected president in South Africa. <gasps> wow! They didn't have a president? Yes, they didn't have a president until 1994. <gasps> And what do they celebrate in South Africa? Well, Charlotte, they celebrate Freedom Day. And what is that? Well, it is celebrated on April the 27th. <gasps> and what do they do? Okay, Charlotte, they remember their first democratic elections in 1994. Nelson Mandela became president. <gasps> That's why he's very important. Yes, that is why. And they have parades. So let's go. Let's let's move on, Charlotte, because we're getting late to this other country. Whew, wow. It's I'm getting tired. <laughs> Are you tired at home? No? Okay, so let's keep traveling around the world. Do you want to know another English-speaking country, their holidays and celebrations? Where are you? Oh, we are in the United Kingdom. In England? Yes, in England. And what are they celebrating? <gasps> Look, teacher, they're wearing green clothes. Yes, Charlotte, they are wearing green clothes. Why? Ah, you will see, Charlotte, you will see. They are celebrating one very special day in the United Kingdom. And what is that? That is called St. Patrick's Day. <gasps> wow! And what do they wear green? Well, because uh, Patrick, the saint of the United Kingdom, used to wear green clothes. And when is it celebrated? Well, it is celebrated every March the 17th. And they celebrate, of course, the patron saint of Ireland. They wear green clothes, as I told you. They go to parades and they have a festival. <gasps> wow, that's interesting. Yes, Charlotte, that is very interesting. So, let's move on, teacher. I don't want to be late. Yes, woof, wow, I'm getting really tired, Charlotte, but I want to travel more. You want to travel more with Charlotte and Teacher Graven? Yeah? Let's get moving. I have plenty of time. Don't worry. Let's go.
let's go to this other country remember your bag <laughs> okay where are we look charlotte canada are we in canada yes charlotte we are in canada that's amazing what are they celebrating let's take a look vamos a observar charlotte let's take a look wow they have many flags they have red oh they have a maple leaf yes wow charlotte very interesting very interesting they have a flag and what are they celebrating well charlotte they are celebrating canada day and what is canada day well charlotte canada day is similar to independence day in costa rica <gasps> do they celebrate their independence yes charlotte every july the first they remember their independence and what do they do well they have parades fireworks and families eat outside <gasps> wow that's very interesting okay so let's let's move on charlotte okay let's let's move on yeah <gasps> wow that was really tired okay yeah do you want to travel to another english-speaking country yes yes i want to go i want to go to jamaica okay let's go to jamaica do you want to go to jamaica <gasps> no, 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 no. Charlotte. listen to that music listen to that music wow is that reggae music yes charlotte that's reggae music <gasps> and what are they celebrating charlotte they are celebrating they are celebrating the international reggae day in jamaica and who is that man there well that's bob marley one of the greatest reggae uh, artists in the history of music we celebrate or they celebrate international reggae day every july the first musicians from all over the world go to kingston the capital of jamaica they have festivals and concerts and reggae music they uh, they dance they have um, family meals they cook dishes with fish coconut bread and plantains wow that was pretty intense charlotte <gasps> charlotte charlotte where where are you i'm over here in jamaica i stayed in international reggae day wow charlotte i i hope you come early today okay wow charlotte stayed in jamaica <laughs> i hope she she gets early <laughs> okay maybe she'll come back later don't worry about it but i have my bag ready okay i want to know if you learned something today do you want to give it a try before charlotte comes okay well we have a presentation for for you because i want to know if you learned something about holidays and celebrations in english-speaking countries are you ready to play yeah because i like games okay we have a multiple choice game a single choice game about holidays and celebrations in some english-speaking countries oh interesting charlotte you came back yes I came back. Wow, good. Charlotte, I have a question for you and your classmates at home. What is your favorite holiday? A, Boxing Day in Australia, or B, Thanksgiving in the United States? I like Boxing Day in Australia. Oh, very good, interesting. Now, let's see question number two. Charlotte, when do Australians celebrate Boxing Day? on december the 16th or on december the 26th on december the 26th very good charlotte very good amazing charlotte what do australians do on boxing day well i don't remember do you want to help charlotte quieren ayudarle ustedes a charlotte a 
Australians celebrate their independence or B, they thank for blessings and help others? B, they thank for blessings and help others. Very good, Charlotte. What do people eat on Thanksgiving in the United States? Do they eat gallo pinto and tamales or turkey and pumpkin pie? Ah, oh, that's easy. They eat turkey and pumpkin pie. Very good. And what do people from Jamaica listen to on International Reggae Day? Reggae music or their national anthem? Oh, that's very easy. The national anthem. Well done. Great job, Charlotte. And you students at home. Very nice job. Now, do you want to earn some stars? ¿Quieren ganarse unas estrellas? Yes? Okay, Charlotte. Let's see if you, what you learned today. Let's see how many stars do we get. Vamos a ver cuántas estrellas obtenemos. Let's see. Okay, the first one, Charlotte. Can you identify main points and general information? Yes, yes, I can. I know English-speaking countries, their holidays and celebrations. So, Charlotte, you earn a star. Can you respond to simple questions with single words or phrases? Yes, of course. Very good. I can answer questions. Okay. So, it, I think it's time to go, Charlotte. Thank you very much. Thank you very much for joining us today. We had such a great time. Do you want to know more about holidays and celebrations in English-speaking countries? Yeah? Okay. So, see you next week. And remember, practice at home what we learned today. Remember to wash your hands like Charlotte. She's always washing her hands. Remember to stay at home. Wear a face mask. And it was a pleasure. This was Teacher Graven and Charlotte. Bye-bye. See you. Take care. Bye. See you.